Well, one me familia. We're back. Movement decoded. Sorry for the little bit of a hiatus. I have got no excuse. Inspiration waned and it took another direction. It actually went into a bit more video editing um, and just uh, appreciating that side of things a little bit more. So I just went into like a creative like hyper fixation on using different um, software. Anyway, we're back here filming. It's helped me share a little bit more um, insight into this side as well. So movement research today. Before we get to it, if you can subscribe to your boy, subscribe. Like it already because you're going to like it. If not, you can just unlike it. You know, and you can even dislike it. Never mind. Um, and for the for the free content, buy me a coffee. There'll be a link there. If you just buy me one cup of unicorn blood, it will be so appreciated. And actually, those messages that I get on that platform is just a huge reason why it keeps pulling me back into into this uh, dialogue right now. So, pattern those things, and we'll get to it. First thing we're going to play with is being very free in exploration through uh, quadruped locomotion. And I'm going to offer uh, a, a concept for today um, that will hopefully bring us a little bit out of some habits and expose a few blind spots and really tap in mainly today to our inner rhythm and our connection to, to music. So the what we're going to work on here, first of all, warming up, we'll find a three-point base, any three-point base, and keeping the limitation of hands and hand and feet fixed to the floor. They can swivel, but what's all the possibilities that every single part of the body can go? After a few moments exploring, exploring here, feel free to transition to another three-point base. Notice the possibilities keeping the limitation of feet and hands. From there, another base. Notice the possibilities. Notice what feels restrictive. Notice what feels really spacious. Notice what has a lot of potential for variety or transitions. After maybe three to five on one side, three point base, same thing. Explore every possibility without judgment, without caveat, but a gentle curiosity. Enjoy meeting end ranges, enjoy meeting possible shapes where if we were to creep a bit further, we'd collapse and have the discipline to maybe not go as far. Or if you're like, oh, I really want to stay there, then just, just kind of floss that strength a little bit. After a few moments, change the position, see the potential. Hips can come down, hips can come up, play with spacing and extension, play with softness and yielding. So that's, that's warm up element one. Obviously I'm giving you the exercises here and demonstrating this isn't a, this one today isn't a follow along. So indulge that time, that exercise for as long as, as you want to there. Um, next movement now, coming off the hands. Conditioning into the legs. Be mindful of knees and things and and uh, work within your boundaries, honor your limitations. And, and from here, we're just gonna come into duck walks. Just build a little bit of resilience around the balls of the feet. Not only walking forwards with this low gait, but trying to travel backwards. Feeling the rotation of the body to help play with the axis of the arms, not them being like kind of restricted and tentative, but where they can relax, where they can create shape and have space and choice. Feel free to have the hands down because we're going to turn this now into walking around the space. Transitioning from hips facing up, hips facing, oh sorry, hips facing down, excuse me, hips facing up in all different variations from same side creating the movement or opposite limbs creating the movement. 
really, it's going to be an important uh, junction today. Um, a concept of ipsilateral, same grounded side, same spacing side, and contralateral, opposite grounding sides, opposite spacing sides. So we can use those. I've touched on those in other sessions on here, so I won't kick the ass out of it. And again, from this side, it can be ipsy, ipsy, contra, contra, play with all the different ways in which we can transition between those. Um, we're going to take that into a, a lovely uh, perspective in a moment, but just in the body, seeing there's possibilities there. Another thing uh, we'll add to that is hopping and spacing. So spacing, hopping first, can be however you want to interpret hopping. There'll be some ranges that feel challenging, some ranges that feel like there's a lot of potential. Own those. Also in spacing, we can utilize the three-point base and see what can, I didn't demonstrate this before. We can have three point base like one foot both hands as well. If you already did that then, well done breaking patterns and breaking rules. Here we can play with spacing of the limbs that aren't grounded. It can be spacing of the head, of the free limb. of whichever limbs so different dynamics to give a little bit of a an, a name a title um, which will give, give us a boundary to to work within and shift across to so Layers, contra ipsy transitions, hopping, grounding, and spacing. An example of that might look like this. Hips up, hips down, hopping, spacing, hopping, transitioning up, transitioning down through spacing. And intentionally, maybe saying, okay, now I'm going to space. Now I'm going to ground. Now I'm gonna hop. How many hops do I wanna do? Okay, I've done five there. Okay, what's next? Okay, hips facing up, hips facing down. Contra ipsy. Let them bleed into each other. Because now, what we're going to do is incorporate the same thing. Now, you don't have to do all of those things at the same time. Feel free to just choose two elements. It might be hips facing up, hips facing down, grounding and spacing, which really stems from this curiosity here, allows for spacing and allows for whoa, transition as well. But now, we're going to add music to the equation. I'm going to play some music here. I'll put some, some links, some uh, names and the artists within. Ah. I've, not, I've not done it. I've not played the game yet where it hits like the copyright issue. And I don't want to step into that territory. <laughs> Guys, how do I get around this? Um, I'm going to cut it here, find a copyright free song, and if it sounds bogus, boy, I did what it is. Uh, but I'm going to do it to that, because I don't, I don't want to cross over into that territory just now. I don't want to step on toes and stuff, so bear with me. All right, so I didn't waste time here. Just found a, a copyright free song. 
Going to vibe to it with the same premise now, prioritizing, maybe slowing down coordination and honoring the beat. Don't lose that song. Uh, I'll put a link to that. Name is Running featuring Lade, I think, by Fury. It's about PH. Shout out to you. I found you in a couple of minutes. Um, so that's the concept there. As you can tell, it serves as a lovely warm up. I have no idea how that kind of went. There was definitely moments I was like, I'm committing to my strong side a bit too much. Okay, let's honor this darker side a little bit. Whilst the range is there. If you've been following my channel, you know right side's a bit stronger, left side a bit weaker. I try my best to practice what I preach and even up on both sides. Through being uninhibited in your exploration, you're gonna notice what's, uh, what's being becoming more dominant where habits take us in a certain direction. And we use that information to humble our practice and create as clear symmetry as we can. So that's that. Oh, next element. We got uh, our rolls. So now, now that we're quite warm, this is a section I call uh, armadillo rolls. And this was actually inspired by um, Marcello. I can't remember his name. I'll, I'll write his full name in the description as well. Uh, a lovely guy. Did a workshop once a while back and yeah, lovely energy, shares some great stuff. Um, so these, these rolls here, two main anchors for positioning is going to be our fisherman squat, which looks like this, ball of the foot tucked underneath, sat onto the heel. This is the grounding leg because the weight of our body is predominantly here being supported, so the other part of the body, the other leg, has options, has choice to space. That's gonna be important later on. Fisherman pose, grounding on the left side. Fisherman pose, grounding on the right side. Knee, toe, hip. Commit entirely to those three, and it's gonna create a lot of clarity. Anchor point two, shoulder stand, trying to get somewhat 90 degree into the legs, so shins somewhat vertical. We don't have to be too strict here, but this is a nice or balanced shape, not too much into the leg, not too straight here, having this strong support. So from here, we're gonna be transitioning to fisherman pose. Nice and easy. If I look towards the right side, I'm grounding on the right side. Look. So knee. Now I've got information to come into fisherman. Use your head, use your hands, use your shoulders, any way that you need to. Finesse that transition on both sides. So I'm going left, so I look left, tap left, 
ground and know where to go from here. Give yourself that clarity. Like so. This is now where Contra and Ipsy are showing up in a different conversation, but same, same methodology. Here instead of Contra, Ipsy, we're now in, just for now, Ipsy, here, shoulder and knee, Ipsy. If you have the transition from shoulder stand to fisherman, fisherman to shoulder stand, reverse engineering. Don't bring in other techniques. We're not doing Aikido rolls, not BJJ. We're not doing, all we're doing is rewinding the shape. So this is now a, ta uh, a challenge in not being complacent in one direction, but having the mindfulness to know and the concentration to know exactly what the body's doing. Now look, okay, now I'm coming to my right side, right knee. Which lands first? The toe. Okay, what, how do I feel the weight here? What side of my head is on the floor? Knee down. As I'm transitioning to fisherman, I'm not just going straight into it blindly. I'm thinking, all right, where's my hands? That's hands in front of the face. Ah, this hand's behind my knee. So then, we we'll rewind. So nothing's new. We're just changing the direction. So we're not going into this and then going, oh, shoulder stand. really put a microscope into appreciating the nuance of one way because then when we can reverse that we just double our vocabulary and exploration so pattern those two ipsy in ipsy out so from here ipsy in same knee same shoulder same knee same shoulder other side What's important here is not to, is, is that potential of rolling out. So I'm letting the weight of my legs stay close to the transition from one shoulder to the other shoulder. If you're doing here down properly, you should be able to come up without squeezing out and rolling into a, a different variation of a roll. So now, this is where it gets tough, twistery, confusing, contra lateral now. Contralateral is much easier to reverse engineer from this shape. Instead of same knee, same shoulder, where I've touched down here, I basically want to replace. That's all we're doing there. Ipsy, same shoulder, same knee. Contra, opposite shoulder, opposite knee. So the transition to that, I look, but now the opposite foot comes across. Hands can help. Toe, knee, and then we have information. Round it. Other side. Look, opposite, contra, toe, knee. See it stays high because this is the potential leg. The grounding leg. Once we reverse engineer that, listening to every single detail. How do we come back in? Rewinding. So now it's opposite knee. This is the funky bit. This is the bit where I'll give you this. This is new to you. It's going to feel friggin' weird until you repeat, repeat, repeat. Maybe pause, rewind. Keep checking out this, this demo. So here, potential leg, grounding leg. Opposite knee, opposite shoulder, the outside. To make space look, heel to the bum. Opposite knee, opposite shoulder. From here, I push from the grounding leg. Come into shoulder stand. Opposite, down, ground. Here, contra. Opposite knee, opposite shoulder. Leg up, extend. Make sure to try not to, to blur. If you fall out, absolutely fine. But try not to muddy the lines. By going here, and then kind of both legs, and then we're just doing sort of like an ipsy again, and then when we come out, we come across, and then the opposite knee comes down, and 
Like, it just, it just gets messy. Be as restricting as it might feel at the start, through repetition and awareness, you're going to start to create efficiency. Just, just stay with that growing pain, if this is all new for you. Um, so now what we can explore is contra in, contra out. Ipsy in, ipsy out. Contra in, ipsy out. Ipsy in, contra out. We have all these lovely varieties now. And I'll, I'll talk them. I'm going to go in slow motion. And then uh, I'll talk the different directions. But we know, same knee, same shoulder, ipsy. Opposite knee, opposite shoulder, contra. That's the, uh, the, the, like the, the nucleus of information. Ipsy in, ipsy out. Same knee, same shoulder. Ipsy in, contra out. Contra in, contra out. Contra in, ipsy out, like so. That is what we're gonna floss, because then it, it, when we when we expand the shoulder roll movement, if you've got, I know for a while I was stuck in this habit when I first learned the shoulder roll, I was sort of stuck in this like always doing this variation, and then coming up. Now we've got this opportunity to have a different texture. Ipsy in, contra out. And then it takes us through whatever landscape it is. And now we're not just kind of like, we're just expanding on something that's already familiar, which is really nice. Um, yeah, pattern that. Repeat, repeat, till it feels clear. If you get bruises on your shoulders, I think I'm doing a hardwood floor. You get used to it. I started out hitting like these knobbly bits. And I might do a video on like finding your landing pads. It's a little mental asterisk there. Um, exploring landing pads, but it's just also about kind of getting used to the movement and you, you might have like growing pains of some bruises, but if you're doing it on gymnastic floor, carpet, tatami mats, whatever, um, you get used to it. What have we got next? Let's do some. Acrobatics, build up. Um, as if we watch a lot of the videos, we know I'm a huge, huge fan of having the uh, the foundation of movement stemming from something a bit more contained and seeing where it blossoms into a macro scale, like sort of like zooming out and then zooming out. So a lot of this understanding of contra and ipsy in the rolling is so important for uh, variation in in our more acrobatic realms as well, because the perspective of the head is doing the exact same thing. Now we're just focusing on different uh, levers. So you can almost liken the rolls to one layer, the, the quadruped transitions to another layer. The other layer from there is the acrobatics. So transition from here, uh, we're gonna be doing a, a jinga, a sway, forwards and back. So the head is like a pendulum going boom, 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 boom. Transitions between squat, really grounding through the feet, and then tabletop position, active, grounding through the hands. And squat. Tabletop, squat. Tabletop. I really like playing with this like moment of inertia, like boom, boom. It's not this. Yeah. Next. Exactly the same rhythm. That's why I've called it the Jinga here. In capoeira, they have such beautiful movement because they're always honoring this, this oscillation of sway 
and it just gives free energy. Literally, you're just using momentum in a very specific way that gives you free energy when you want to direct it in a certain way. When we try to like get these tricks and, and build like the superficiality of them, uh, it can be quite inefficient. It's lovely to explore those isolated. I've got those videos in, in here as well. So it's really nice to get them sort of unrefined, but then it's also nice to see where it bleeds into more efficiency and uh, more connection. So that's what we're gonna toy with from this angle here. Now exactly the same movement, piking at the hips, same rhythm. Squat, tabletop, lift, shrug the shoulders to the ears, and then back down. Almost like a, a really kind of like uh, linear hole as well. Got that movement there. Let's combine one of those two, low or high, tabletop or pike, with a back sweep. Back sweep transition is going to be hands in front of one knee, extending one leg, and sweeping it behind you. Whatever distance it travels, just allow for it. And then we come back to squat. I don't know what this could be called. Hastera, maybe? Let me know. Um, it's like a really low melo. I'm just throwing out all the capoeira jargon, paying homage to uh, a huge source of inspiration for myself. Um, combining that with the hole baby, awu, baby cartwheel movement. So it's going to be a transition. Whoa. Same direction. Sweep, and we're on the other side. Just depending on space as well. You can do one each side. Lift, sweep. Lift, same direction. Sweep. Taking that into macro scale again. Now we've got the mechanics of cartwheel. Uh, hopping Mayalua. Um, I know there's another great movement coach called Neil from Germany. He calls this one back Jaguar. Sometimes that I say it, but I feel like for me, Hopping Mayalua, semantics, potato, tomato. Transition here. Now we're just taking it higher. Like so. We've got lovely junctions. And you can pick and choose the layers as you want to. It can be low, high. It can be High and low. For you to roll it. We don't want to do all of that. Oh, let's take this into another layer again. Creeping into um, hopping my lure to tabletop position. This position here, I'm gonna just throw this one in, a bit more unrefined. I'm not gonna to give too much away in the queuing. Like, problem solve it, this is just, a, this is a side quest, literally. Um, I may do a more, more specific video on this. Another tab, open there. I may do a video specific to this movement, but we can also incorporate how the hopping may allure. That movement turns into Option one, a forward macaco. It's a tabletop. Just very gently showing this across. I sweep the hands 
in front. I turn the supporting shoulder, the hand in slightly to create space for the shoulder rotation. As I turn it in, try to land in tabletop. When we get more confident of that, we start to flip the hips a little bit earlier. From the tabletop position, I'm not going to give too much away from there. You take it where you want to. Um, demonstrate on my dark side. I'm not showing a lot there. Here, turning in, reaching across, landing in tabletop. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, now we're somewhere. Mm. Now we can think about piecing things together. So, you've got three distinct, with all the little, little chapters within them, the keynotes, you've got three main topics here. Musicality, doesn't even have to be with music, if you want to, it's like that movement and music just coincide so beautifully. Shifts your energy in motion, uh, your emotion. Come on. Um, so feel free to play a copyright free track, whatever it is, um, or just the music you like. And uh, so that's layer one. Layer two, incorporating transition into rolling. It's very easy to find. Then, as a kind of transition into the acrobatic layers. Start with a simple layer first, slowly build it up. Feel free to create a mini phrase, incorporating all three. Uh, let's break one down now. Um, so, from here, you create five different movements of your choice. One, two, three, four, five. How does this transition into the armadillo rolls? From here, it feels quite natural to go. Ah. Three variety of contra in, contra out, FC in, contra out, whatever it is. Two to three into That's where my body went, but we didn't do the forward cartwheel. Well, I've got a breakdown of that somewhere in our previous video. So there, five steps, hops, transitions, hips up, hips down. Whichever shape you end up on the fifth one, what feels like the most sincere approach to find a fisherman or a back sh or a shoulder stand. From there, choose two different variety of rolls and then let that segue into your acrobatic. Low to high, high to low, low to low, high to high. That is like such a weird, imagine I just started the video with those. We're speaking a language now, we're singing off the same song sheet. We move in hieroglyphs. Uh, that's all of it guys. Love, 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 hope you enjoyed. Peace.